Hey everyone, happy new year. I hope you're having a fantastic start to the year 2026. Today's video is gonna be pretty quick. I'm gonna be talking about Oh My Posh meets Claude Code. This is a blog that I came across from Jan de Doublier, who is the creator of Oh My Posh and the maintainer of the open source project. And what I'm gonna be doing today is kind of just going through how you can get that Oh My Posh goodness directly inside of your Claude Code session. And so Jan has put together this awesome new segment inside of Oh My Posh that allows us to basically have all the goodness that we need inside of a Claude Code session. So here I am in my WSL distro, I'm running Claude, I'm asking for a story about a rabbit because of course, and you'll see here that I've got these different segments from Oh My Posh directly in Claude Code. So if you are not super familiar with Oh My Posh, I'll do a really quick overview. It is the most customizable and fastest prompt engine for any shell. So essentially that means Linux, Mac, Windows, doesn't matter what you're using, doesn't matter what shell, you can put together these really beautiful themes directly inside of your terminal. And so here you can see, if I go down to themes, you'll see a bunch of different options for how you can configure your shell. And these are themes that essentially, if I double click onto one, you'll see it takes you to these gists and every theme is essentially just a bunch of segments put together. Where segments, if I go back to my terminal, segments are essentially these different blocks that you can put together. So it's an array of segments, you staple them together and you get this really awesome rich functionality. And what we're saying now is you don't have to lose that if you're inside of a terminal session where you're running Claude, you can still get that inside of Claude. And you can get this sort of uh, view, but you can also customize that view. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of just talk a little bit about how this is functioning based on the blog. I think it's quite interesting, but then I will also show you how to add this to your Claude code session customize it, make it look beautiful, uh, and put it together exactly how you want. So terminal customization just got a lot smarter. Oh My Posh now integrates with Cloud Code through its status line functionality, bringing real-time AI session information development context directly into your Cloud Code prompt. So here you can see that. Essentially, the status line is something that receives all this inf different information. So it receives model information, token usage, cost tracking, workspace context, session metadata. Now, in order to get this view, so if I go back here into WSL where I've already set this up, this view with these three things, in order to get that, all you have to do is copy this JSON snippet and add it to your settings.json for Claude. Really quick interjection, make sure that you have Oh My Posh, the latest version installed as well as Claude code before you follow the next steps. Okay, that's gonna be inside of your home directory most likely. So I've already done that inside of WSL, but in PowerShell, what I can do is add a settings.json file and copy over that little JSON block. I will save this, I will exit. And now if I type in Claude, what's going to happen is you're gonna see sort of that same uh, set of information, the same segments. So here you can see, I've got the information about my directory, I've got information about the model, and then here is a gauge for your context usage. And just like that, boom, you're, you're ready to go. Um, but maybe you want, for example, something a little more special. Maybe you wanna go use any of those segments from Oh My Posh. For example, something I like to do is I like to include this NBA segment. So the NBA segment is right here, and this is a segment that I actually built. So you can build your own segments, and again, Oh My Posh is essentially a way for you to combine all these different segments. So let me find where we are here, segments. So there's tons of different segments you can see here on the right hand, or left hand side, excuse me, CLI, cloud, health, etc. And if you go down into the web, you know, you'll see all these different segments, you'll see this MBA segment. So this is one of the segments that's inside of Oh My Posh. That's one that I built, so I really like it. But here you can kind of see how you can put together your own segments. And again, going back to sort of these JSON files, all Oh My Posh, the entire thing is, is essentially an array of these different segments. So you can have a session segment. Um, and in my example, the version that I use, my customization, is I start off with this NBA segment and I wanna be following the Lakers. So. How do you do that? It's actually really, really simple. All you'll need to do is basically take one of these JSON files. So if you really like one of these themes, what I recommend is going to Oh My Posh, if you're new to this, go to Oh My Posh, just check out the pre-built themes. So if I go again to themes, find one of these themes that you like. So let's say you like this view here, you click on that and it'll take you to this JSON file and just copy and paste that. But you can look under the hood so you know how to combine your own themes in the future to see what kind of segments they're using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my, I have a gist here for my uh, shell. And I, again, really like to lead with this NBA segment. And all I have to do is take this file. So I'm gonna copy this uh, path. 
classic. Okay, that took a while. Copy as path. Let me go back here. And I'm going to go back to the settings.json. And all we have to do is add this config flag. So if I do whack whack config and I paste in the uh, file path to my personal customized you know, set of segments that I want. Uh, on Windows, you'll have to add these backslashes. So that is how this works on Windows. You want to escape the first one. Uh, I will file save. And now what I'm expecting to see is when I run Claude, we'll actually have the MBA segment and all the other segments that are defined inside of that JSON file that I just pointed towards. And there you go. If I say, tell me a story about a rabbit playing basketball, you'll see that Claude code goes on, it does its thing, but all of this context down here is going to remain. And so that's really, really fun because Again, if you look at this example, when you're going back and forth and iterating with Claude code, you lose that context that you originally had with Oh My Posh. But now with this update, all that context for your developer workflows are still here. So you can have things like your, your branch status, your repository where you're at, the models that you're using, a bunch of other things, you know, like what virtual environment you're in, et cetera, et cetera. And so now you can go back and forth. And in my example, it's a little silly, but it sparks joy for me. You can see this NBA game and when it's going to start. So. I will provide links to all the things that I talked about in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I highly recommend you uh, take a look at this blog if you want to take a peek a little bit more under the hood for how this stuff works. But anyways, that's all I got. Quick video for you all today. As always, I really appreciate the support. Like, subscribe, leave comments. Let me know other things you want to talk about. And until next time, stay safe and Happy New Year.